Hey guys, and welcome to the devotion for A Place. So glad you can join us as we're about ready to kick off an awesome weekend at Good Shepherd. Why is it so awesome? Well, there is the Word of God like always, but many of you guys get to be confirmed. And that was one of the best parts about it too. What happens in confirmation? This is something that you don't go ahead and do because your parents are telling you to, or your grandparents. This is something to do because God has created a faith in you. And that faith believes what you have been taught, that we teach here at Good Shepherd, the truths of God's word, and you would rather die than ever abandon any one of these truths. What a neat confession that you're going to be able to make before family and friends. But also a very scary confession too, right? And it's a good thing that you're scared. This is not something that you should take lightly. This is not something that is easy to do. But God will be with you just as all of us here are praying for you at this moment. One of the other great parts about this day is that uh, at, uh, because you're joining our, our church, you now get to take communion with us. Your very first communion. Communion is, is something so special because it's a way in which we as sinners, understanding so, get to still approach God, go to Him, and He comes to us and He gives us forgiveness of sins and he also grants us his own very body and blood. We don't deserve that. We don't deserve to be able to go before God, and yet he, he does so. He makes us at one with himself through that forgiveness. We get to see just how close we are to him. That oneness aspect is another thing that, that's good for us to talk about. What we practice here is what God commands us to. It's called close communion. God doesn't want us simply to offer communion to, to anybody because we don't want them to hurt themselves. And we don't want to make them think that we're teaching incorrectly. We want to teach the truth because the truth is love. The truth is good. So we try and help other people by doing it this way, which still seems very unloving. Well, how can it be loving? How can it be a good thing that we join together, but not everybody? How can this be good? Think about it like this. Out there in the world right now, there are a lot of differences, and there is a lot of divisiveness, too. We seem very far away from other people. You have blacks, and you have whites, and you have Asians, and you have all different kinds of races and skin colors, and, and that seems to be in the forefront of everybody's mind. That, that's who you're characterized by. Not in reality, though. And then there are other things that you're characterized by. The fact that you are a Democrat or a Republican. The fact that you're an American or you're, that you're from this country or that country. That's something that we're characterizing each other by right now. But that isn't your identity either. Another big one is masks. Some people wear masks. Other people think, I don't want to. I, I, I think it's my right not to. And that, there's that division between uh, everyone as well. And yet, here we get to come. And there are these divisions amongst us as well. And all of a sudden, this oneness supersedes all of that division. All of it goes out the window because we join as one sinners before our God, saved entirely by Him. We come together, one body with one loaf. We join together in this eating and in this drinking. That is the beauty of this oneness. That in spite of everything that Satan's doing to try and tear you apart from each other and to tear you apart, more importantly, from your God, he's not going to win. You are at one with God. Amen.